Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a mini review on three vintage lipsticks. We have a L'Oreal from the 80s or early 90s. And this color is called So Merlot in number 632. All right. Nowadays, these are black or gold, if you see them at the supermarket. And it is a very dark color. It, hence the name Vermont, Ver, Merlot, not Vermont. Hence the name Merlot. So Merlot, number 362. And I have a barrier of Vaseline on. And you just want a barrier when you're using a vintage lip, just in case. There's no vintagey odor or, you know, they say lipsticks last for three years. And this is obviously um, older than three years. And if they do have a smell, I wouldn't recommend you even trying them with Vaseline, but you know. Okay, that's what that looks like. So I'm gonna swatch it first on, the, on my arm. Oh my goodness. Rougey, dark. And then I'm going to swatch it on an envelope for you to see what it looks like on just white. And again, it looks exactly like it's the type that is um, on the container. It looks the same to me. And that's what it looks like. And now I'm gonna try it on. And this is what it looks like on. And it's extremely dark as you can see. So it's a nighttime party clubbing type of look. Very, very dark. So if you are into these type of darker colors, you may love this. It would look great with darker skin tones, brunettes, what have you. So that's what that looks like. And again, that's by L'Oreal. It's a vintage lipstick in number 632 called So Merlot, like the, like the wine. Okay. And the last two are, this one is called All Day Lipstick by Estee Lauder. And it is in Plumwood. And I think this was the one that, that turned. So I'm not going to try this one on. It does not smell very good. I will probably list it for just um, decor purposes on eBay. It doesn't smell very good at all, actually. Let me show you how it looks. Kind of similar. And if anybody knows when, I don't really know much about Estee Lauder, if anybody knows when they made these white cap lippies, please comment below. It just says all day lipstick, plum wood, H. K made in the USA and that's what the uh, label looks like all right so now I'm going to take this off and show you the last lip that I have and this is by Elizabeth Arden which I don't think I have any Elizabeth Arden lipsticks in my collection so I'll get to try this for the first time with you guys and it is it says luxury lipstick in pure plum number 332 and it says promotion on it and so what I think promotion is, is when they um, either free gift with purchase, which I don't know if they do that anymore, or when you buy those Christmas gift sets around Christmas time, Elizabeth Arden, Estee Lauder, Lancome, they all put them out and they usually include a limited edition special lip. So that might be where this one came from. Pure Plum, number 332, like so. And I will do a swatch for you. Beautiful, beautiful pink. It looks kind of frosty. So let's do a swatch right here. It's a bit light. I do have self tanner on. If you are pale, you may love this. Love this on your skin. And I'm going to do a swatch on the envelope. Beautiful color. Beautiful right there. And we're gonna put a barrier of Vaseline on my lips because it is a vintage lipstick. And just like that. Okay, let's give it a go. All right. Frosty, smooth, baby pink. Goes on a wonder hole. Look at that. A great everyday color. And it's very frosty. You see kind of like a silver undertone almost. That's what it looks like. True, true to the look. And so there you have it, guys. Those are the three vintage lipsticks. If you know anything about them, if you've owned them back in the day, comment below and let me know. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.